19 is sound maker. We're going to turn on the slide switch and adjust the lever on the adjustable resistor. And you'll hear a clicking sound coming from the speaker. The speaker is being controlled by the strobe integrated circuit. I'm going to hold down the press switch and the sound will be louder. This is the loudest setting. And then you can move it back. There are different combinations in which you can have the lever and the button. Note that in rare cases, the circuit may not work at all settings on the adjustable resistor. So if that happens, move the lever to the side near the strobe integrated circuit and turn the slide switch on and off to reset the circuit as well as moving the adjustable resistor lever over a small range. That may help. The strobe integrated circuit is producing an electrical tone and the pitch of the tone is adjusted by changing how much electricity flows into its upper left snap, which is right here. You can see that the RV is connected directly to that point and it has a resistor and it produces a tone which can be used to make sound using a speaker or to control the flash rate of an LED. So that's how the strobe integrated circuit works. And this is a unique part that will only be included in certain snap circuits kits such as this one. 20 is very similar to project 19 except I replaced the speaker with the white LED and now we're going to have a strobe light. And you can see it blinking uh, and the rate at which it does so changes as I move the adjustable resistor. This is its slowest rate. Now I'm going to push the S2 switch and now it will blink even quicker. This is the highest setting and the white LED may be, appear to be on continuously. Sometimes it's hard to notice the blinking you, through the camera on my phone, but even without it, it's hard to, you can't really tell that it is actually flashing at a very fast rate on the highest setting. It appears to be on steadily. 21 uses the color LED for the strobe light. Turn on the slide switch. RV is on the lower setting. Press switch is not activated. Now I'm quickly moving RV to the highest setting. And it may be hard to tell through the camera, but the color LED is now like a bluish color. I'm going to hold down the S2. And now at the highest, now it changes colors. Move the RV down, but keep S2 activated. And now it's blinking again. Might be hard to tell once again, but the LED is still blue. It will not be changing colors on most RV settings because the strobe integrated circuit is resetting the micro circuit in the color LED, which allows it to switch colors. Even the slowest strobe speed will be too fast for this component and it will not change colors. Only when it's on the highest setting, steady, will it actually work. 22 is red strobe light. I, re I replaced the color LED with the red one. The RV is at its lowest setting now and I'm going to turn on the slide switch. The red LED is now blinking and I will slowly adjust the RV 
and I'm going to hold down the press switch. Now it's flashing so fast that it appears to be on steadily. Slowly moving the adjustable resistor down and it's blinking fast enough to notice when you're even if you are looking at the camera you might be able to tell that it's blinking but from a distance it might appear to be on at a steady rate too. 23 is noisy strobe light. I modified the circuit from project 18. The speaker is back but I replaced the three snap wire here with the white LED and I will turn on the slide switch. Now you hear noise from the speaker as the white LED flashes. And I'm slowly moving the lever on RV. And I will now hit the press switch. The sound gets louder. And this is its highest setting with the speaker. The white LED appears to be on continuously. Like the previous project, the circuit may not work on all settings of the adjustable resistor, so move it closer, the lever closer to the strobe integrated circuit, turn the slide switch off and on to reset the circuit, and only move the RV lever over a small range. Now I will go right on to 20, project 24 in which I replace the white LED with the red one. Same sounds, just a different strobe color. Now similarly, I could also replace the red LED with the color LED as another part of Project 24. Listen to the sounds. When the LED is changing colors, which does not occur in most settings, you can hear the weird sounds that are produced. Project 25 is called Double Strobe Light. We'll use the preceding circuit but replace the speaker with either the white, red, or color LED, and we can just have any of these LEDs in various combinations. I'm just going to do uh, the white and color LED and then the white and red LED very quickly. Lowest setting, highest setting. And the LEDs are not very bright because the white LED especially is using a lot of energy. Now I will replace the color LED with the red one. The white the red LED now flashes. Now it's on steadily. It's awesome to see how the strobe integrated circuit controls these lights and how spectacular they may appear when they are flashing at different speeds. Twenty six is louder strobe light. I modified the circuit from the previous project and I have the red LED in place. The picture, the diagram, shows the white LED, but it doesn't seem to work for this project, so I use the red one instead. I'm going to turn on the slide switch. This is the circuit on its highest setting. It's, the LED seems to be considerably dimmer, and then when I move the RV lever just a little bit, it gets brighter. But you can tell that the sound is much louder than in the previous projects. That is because the speaker and red LED 
are wired in parallel, therefore they will receive more voltage. And now for project 27, I can replace the white LED, the red LED with the color one. Once again, when I hold down the press switch, the color LED is barely lit. And now it flashes at its highest setting without the press switch activated. Now this is the lowest setting of all. Project 28 is triple strobe light. I'm using all three LEDs, the red, white, and color LEDs, and then I am going to turn on the slide switch. The circuit is set at its lowest setting, and you can see the LEDs blinking. I'm going to slowly move the adjustable resistor, and they blink faster. I'm going to hold down the press switch, and all three LEDs are blinking so fast that they appear to be on continuously, and the color LED changes colors. Release the press switch, and they resume blinking again. And if you look carefully, it may be hard to tell using the camera, but if you view it from just the right angle, the three LEDs show patriotic American colors. You have red, you have white, and then blue. Because that's the color of the color LED right now when it is blinking. Hold down the press switch again. For project 29, you can, which is called noisy double strobe light, you can replace one of the three LEDs with the speaker. I'll just replace the red one. And now it will make noise. And the speaker is using a lot of energy, so the white LED is not lit and the color LED is barely on. Hold down the press switch and the red the color LED gets a little bit brighter, but it's only red right now and it's once again barely visible the light from it is barely visible on the circuit's highest setting project 30 gives us the best of both worlds from 28 and 29 in which we both have three leds plus the speaker so we it's called noisy triple strober turn on the slide switch, all three LEDs flash while the speaker makes noise.